All right, boys and girls, happy Monday. We have a new week and we have a new packet today. So I have a couple of new things I want to tell you and we're going to do a little bit of review. So today is day six of our packet. And if you have not gotten to day six yet, that is okay. But we're going to go over it right now. So right here, it says, write the missing numbers. We know what to do. We're going to find number nine on our number line, which is right here. And it wants you to write the numbers that come before it. Which one comes before nine? Then behind that one, then behind that one. It's like number nine is the line leader and who stands behind number nine. Now, we're going to talk about something a little bit new. This is our 10 frame, but look at this. It's our first day where we've added another 10 frame. So, if all of the 10 frame is filled up, how much does that make? Well, it makes 10, doesn't it? Now, if I have 10 over here and I have one over here, it's 10 plus one. I want you to think about it. It sounds kind of tricky, but I know you can do it. We have 10 right here and then I just add one more. So 10 plus one is if you got 11, give yourself a thumbs up. Now we're gonna talk about something called measurement. Do you see my ruler right here? This is a ruler and it has koala bears on it and it has numbers on the top, numbers on, on the other side, but we're not gonna worry about those so much. We're gonna really talk about these numbers here. These are called inches. And when we measure something, a lot of times we want to know how long something is. If you've ever gone to the doctor's office and gotten measured, they want to know how tall you are and they tell you how tall you are sometimes in inches. So do you remember those little snap cubes that we had in class where we would snap and you guys would make fidget spinners and castles and all sorts of things? Well, I want you to imagine that these squares are snap cubes that snap together. It says measure the length of each object. Count and write how many cubes. So if we want to know how long something is, sometimes we use a ruler and sometimes we use cubes. So right here, let's count and see how many cubes it takes to get to the end of the toothbrush. So there's one, two, three, and four. Is it any more than four? No, it's four cubes long. So I'm gonna just write a four. It took four cubes to measure that toothbrush. Now how about this rainbow? Wow, the rainbow goes all the way to here. That's a lot. Can you count those with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow, the rainbow has nine cubes. It measures nine cubes across. What about this? This is a pan, pan. I bet you know how to spell pan, don't you? Pan, the pan, goes all the way over to this one. Now I'm gonna color these in and let's count them together. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. So our toothbrush was four cubes, our rainbow was nine cubes, and the pan was six. Which one is the longest? The rainbow, that's right. Which one is the shortest? The toothbrush. So that's how we measure to find out which is bigger and which is smaller. Over here, we're going to do simple addition. That is very easy. 
On the back, we know what to do. We've done it so many times already. You're going to write the one vowel word. You're going to read the short story, answer the questions, and then trace and write the sentence. So boys and girls, I know you're going to do awesome on that. If you're not sure what each picture is, remember I gave your family a word key, a picture key to help them help you. So if you have any questions, ask your family.